Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about our app name as VivoTech iViewer for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is VivoTech iViewer for PC, what are its features and function. Then we'll tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel. VivoTech iViewer for PC is a software, is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your screen. This is a software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on your computer screen or a mobile screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. Now, main purpose of this app is that you are by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, you can see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, and you take the backup of the recorded videos, and many more. Now, to download and install, we will take iViewer for PC. On Windows OS, we have to take the help of Android emulator called a BlueStack. First, we download and install Windows BlueStack on Windows OS, and then with the help of it, we download and install VivoTech iViewer for PC. So, I make a separate video on how you install BlueStack on your PC, and I will give link in the description. Also, you can watch that video if you don't know how to install BlueStack. And once you install the BlueStack, you find this icon. Just double click on this icon and wait for a few minutes and after that this is the interface of the blue stack. Now you should click on this app player. Now this is the interface of the app layer. Now you should click on this system apps and go to the play store. Basically this app layer create a environment, Android environment for you. And once just you click on this play store, it will redirect you to a page where we have to search for VivoTech iViewer. And here you should click on install. When you click on install, it is totally automatic process. First is download the app on your PC. So let the process to be finished. Now it is installed, you click on the open. One more thing I would like to discuss with you that when it is completely installed, you find that icon on the desktop also like this. When you click on this option, it will directly open like iViewer. When you click on this, it will directly open the app. Just click on open. Now just click get started. Now when you click on the get started, this is the interface of the app for you. Here you can change the view of the camera. Here you check the recording. 
or you can here you find a device list and when click on this three dot button here you find all the option like setting add device technical support whatever you want just click on the add device and here you find add device form list and add device manually when click when you click on add device form list you will your pc or your device and and your dvr nvr or uh, whatever you are adding is both on the same network then it will automatically you can just you can find that device here okay otherwise you should click on if you want to connect any remote access device or by using a static ip or local ip address then you should click on this add device manually and you click on this here you find two things like camera or server camera means camera and server means dvr nvr whatever you want okay so here i would like to connect with my server means mean just here i enter my uh, local ip address and you may enter your static ip also like here and just here you it ask for username password don't be confused that it is a username and password of the device device means device you are adding it may be dvr mvr or server whatever you want okay so just click here just enter the password of the device and click add now to start adding it take time and when it is successfully added you find the camera list on your screen so here your device comes online thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day